In this video, I'll be making a Hammond organ sound using Vital. Here's what it will sound like. First, we need to talk about the basics of what a Hammond organ does. Once we understand this, you will not only be able to create the Hammond sound yourself, but you'll understand how to configure it to get the sound you're looking for. If you're already familiar with draw bars and the Leslie speaker, feel free to skip to the second half of this video. The Hammond electric organ was one of the first electronic instruments. It gets its name from one of its inventors, Lawrence Hammond, and was created as a smaller, less expensive alternative to the pipe organs used in many churches. It was first produced in 1935 and later became a popular instrument in jazz, blues, gospel, and rock music. The Hammond organ sound is created using additive synthesis. In additive synthesis, you make sounds by adding sine waves together at different harmonic frequencies. The Hammond organ adds up to nine sine waves, each placed on a specific harmonic of the root note. The player can configure the sound using sliders on the organ, called draw bars, which adjusts the volume of each harmonic. Each draw bar has a setting from zero to eight, where zero is off and eight is at full volume. Different draw bar configurations, or registrations as they are known, change the sound of the organ. Each draw bar is labeled similarly to what you'd see on pipe organs. These numbers correspond to pipe lengths. For example, the leftmost draw bar is labeled 16 feet. The terminology is a little confusing, but keep in mind it was originally designed to replace a pipe organ, so it used a lot of the same words that seem out of context today. Some draw bar configurations are well known. For example, the registration of 8880000 is simple but very popular. This looks confusing but is actually pretty simple. It just means that the first three draw bars are fully extended to 8, which means max volume, with the remaining draw bars set to 0. It sounds like this. Here is another popular configuration, meaning that all draw bars are fully extended. This is the brightest sound the Hammond organ can produce. We'll be making both of these sounds today. The second key component of the Hammond sound is the accompanying Leslie speaker, which attempts to make the electric Hammond organ sound more like a pipe organ. It is a specially designed cabinet with two speakers, bass and treble, with a rotating object in front of each speaker to produce both a tremolo and vibrato sound. It has two main speeds. The fast tremolo setting is around 400 rotations per minute, and the slower Coral speed at 50 RPM. We're going to simulate this effect using LFOs. The third interesting component of the Hammond sound is the click that happens when each note is played. This was caused by imperfections in the mechanical switches of the device, but has become an important part of the Hammond sound. We will simulate this using the amplitude envelope. Because Vital is a wavetable synthesizer, we will replicate a few of the draw bar configurations by making our own custom wavetables. Now that we understand what we're going to do, we're ready to make the sound in Vital. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This helps me out a ton and makes it so that more people can see these videos. Let's start with Vital's initial preset. We will use two oscillators. Oscillator one will create the sound for the two lowest draw bars the sub-fundamental, and the sub's third harmonic. Oscillator 2 will create all the other harmonics. We will start by making the following configuration, which needs the first three out of nine frequencies. Click the pencil icon on oscillator 1 to open the wavetable editor. Right-click in the frequency editor region and clear all frequencies. Set the fundamental and the third harmonic to around the same level, like this, and close the wavetable editor. Next, transpose oscillator 1 down an octave so that the frequencies are in the correct spot. Now, enable oscillator 2 and open its wavetable editor. Clear all frequencies. 
We only want to set the fundamental frequency using this configuration. Next, let's work on the click at the beginning of the sound. The default envelope will work fine. You can adjust the attack if desired, or you can lower the sustain. If you want a stronger click, set the phase randomization to 0% for both oscillators. Make sure to keep adjusting the output level to prevent clipping. Let's simulate the sound of the Leslie speaker by adding tremolo and vibrato effects. We can make a tremolo by modulating the volume and a vibrato by modulating the pitch. Go to LFO1, change the shape to a sine wave, and apply it to oscillator 1's level. Change the LFO mode to sync and the LFO frequency to be set in seconds. Set the frequency value to 0.15 seconds, which corresponds to the 400 RPM speed of the Leslie speaker's rotation. Set the modulation on oscillator 1 to be bipolar, meaning it moves in both directions, both above and below the base level. Now do the same thing to oscillator 2. Adjust the modulation amount on both oscillators until it sounds right to you. Now let's create a vibrato effect. Apply LFO1 to oscillator 1's detuning control, set it to bipolar, and reduce the amount of modulation until it sounds right. Do this for both oscillators. Finally, let's add some stereo rotation. Click under the spread knob and change it to rotate. Center the knob and apply LFO1 to it. Make it bipolar and adjust the modulation amount. Let's not forget to increase the number of voices so that we can play more notes at the same time. Also adjust the velocity tracking knob so that the note velocity affects the sound. Now you can add some effects if you'd like. The Hammond organ had a chorus effect, and Vital's chorus works well with this sound. You can also add some reverb. You can also add a little bit of unison to the oscillators. I'll add some unison to oscillator 2 in this example and leave the lower tones alone. Now let's see how it sounds. Let's try a different registration. This one will give us the fullest and brightest sound. Open Oscillator 2's Wavetable Editor and add a new Wavetable position at the very end by double-clicking here. Make sure the second one is selected. We need to add harmonics for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, skip the seventh, and eighth. Since our registration is set to all eights, or maximum volume, make all the bars around the same size. However, if you wanted a different registration that used a 4 for the 8th draw bar, for example, you would set the 8th bar in the Wavetable Editor lower than the others. Now close the Wavetable Editor. You can now slide the Wavetable position to bring in these extra harmonics and brighten the sound. Let's see how it sounds now. If you want to simulate the chorale setting on the Leslie speaker, you just need to slow down the LFO speed to around 40 RPM or 1.2 seconds. You might need to adjust the amount of modulation on the oscillators to get it to sound right. In the actual Leslie organ, 
If you switch between the tremolo and corral settings, you will hear the rotation speed up or slow down. You can simulate this in your music by assigning the LFO speed to a macro and then automating the macro in your DAW. If you like this video, check out this video where I made a Korg M1 style bass using Vital. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments below.